We started our trip in Munich, Germany, and traveled to Cortina d'Ampezzo in Italy. Our journey then led us through the Italian Alps to Como, Italy. After Como, we looped around Lake Como and departed Italy on our way to St. Moritz in Switzerland. As the title suggests, this video focuses on the stunningly beautiful villages and the bustling cities we traversed in the Italian Alps. First off is Cortina d'Ampezzo in the Alpine region known as the Dolomites. Cortina d'Ampezzo is surrounded by mountains and offers the visitor beautiful sights in all directions. My husband Jonas rode a motorcycle while I drove an SUV. Our action camera was mounted in front of the motorcycle's windshield to provide an unencumbered view of the visual treasures ahead. Jonas remembered the Alps from many trips he had made to the region back when he lived in Europe. It has been his dream for many years to tour the Alps on a motorcycle, and this trip turned that dream into reality. Here we leave the lovely hotel we stayed at in Canazai and begin our second day of travel in Italy. Located high up in the Dolomites, Canazai absolutely rocks the classical architecture of the area and visitors marvel at the beauty of every single house in this alpine ski resort. Canazai is part of the autonomous Italian province of South Tyrol. Although South Tyrol is part of Italy, a sizable part of the population speaks German. Some South Tyrolians, especially those who live around Canazai, speak an indigenous language called Latin. From Kanazai, we followed the road of the Dolomites, which leads through several picturesque villages. Let's take a look.
After a while, we reached Bolzano, the capital of South Tyrol. This city is full of life and beautiful architecture wherever the eye can see. We arrived at the ancient city of Murano, which has been around since the days of Jesus Christ. Today, parts of the city that are hundreds of years old mix fluently with modern day traffic and fashion, a sight that we saw often while traveling through Italy. After passing through Algoon, we headed to the world-famous Stelvio Pass and its less well-known neighbor, the Gavia Pass. Links to our videos of these passes are posted in the comment section below. Here is some footage of Uza and Valferva two small towns between the Stelvio and the Gavia passes.
From the passes, we headed toward Lake Como, but not without a small detour into the mountains to pass through the small village of Castione. We arrived at Lake Como and decided to take the ferry across the lake from Verena to Bellagio. The process of boarding and deboarding was in itself a memorable experience, and once again, the sights were remarkable. From Bellagio, we traveled along Lake Como to get to the city of Como. We spent two nights in Como and a day of rest in between. As we reached our accommodation for the night, we parked our vehicles and enjoyed a view of the city from high above. After a day in Como, we began our return to Munich via St. Moritz, Switzerland. From Como, we traveled along the north side of Lake Como, 
but soon found that much too congested to be enjoyable. So we branched out further north into the mountains and got to marvel at some more villages of that region. North of Lake Como is Lake Lugano, and we got a glimpse of it just before heading back to the road along the northern shore of Lake Como. As it was time for lunch, we pulled into a restaurant on the shores of Lake Como for a last sample of exquisite Italian cuisine. For lunchtime entertainment, we enjoyed watching kiteboarders on Lake Como engaging in their challenging sport. After lunch, we headed over the border to St. Moritz and that completed our travels through Italian villages and towns. Thanks for watching and a Reba Dick.